Hello friends, how are you? Now, despite the fact that my parents continue to try, I've realised that you can't be told life lessons. You have to go out and learn them for yourself. And there's still things that I wish people had like, kind of mentioned to me along the way. I certainly don't claim to have life like, sorted. I'm always confused, but I will say that I think about this stuff a lot. I think about it a lot. Because if we never reflect, then we never really learn anything. And if we never learn anything, we'd just be babies. We'd just be like big, human, grown-up, idiot babies. So without further ado, here are some things that I've learned in 22 years. Number one, don't go to your friend's house and chew five pieces of bubble gum and then stretch out that gum and wrap it around your hands and fingers. You won't be able to get it off and then your friend's mum will have to put an ice pack on your hand to try and freeze the gum so that it can be picked off. Your mum will have to come pick you up and apologise on your behalf because you just don't really know what's going on anymore. Take it from me. Number two, try not to be a big idiot. And by big idiot, I mean people that are ignorant and they don't want to learn anything new, and they don't want to listen to other people's perspectives, and they just exist there in their little big idiot bubble. Don't do it. Ignorant people suck butt. Number three. What you think you know about life will change, and it should. What I didn't realize when I was younger is that life really does come in like stages. I like to think of them as like little mountains. A prime example of this is when I was like in the last couple months of school. I felt like I had my shit sorted. I had a routine, I knew who my friends were, and then school actually ended. I was lost. I had no idea what I was doing. I felt like my life was falling apart. And then I realized that I'm starting at the very beginning of the next mountain. Congratulations, you completed that one. You've leveled up. Try and enjoy everything along the way. Number four, don't try and do a backflip into the pool if you don't know how to. Once I tried this, so this is the edge of the pool, this is me. I jumped back, nearly landed on my head on the concrete, and then the concrete scraped all the skin off my back. Just don't really recommend it. Number five. If people tell you to be yourself, but you don't know what yourself is, just make it up. I remember adults saying this to me when I was younger, and I was like... That was a very ambiguous instruction. Here's how I like to think of it. Find movies you like, books you like, what clothes you like to wear, even if everyone's wearing them, or if no one's wearing them. What are you like thinking about? Are there certain personality traits you like in people around you, or people that you watch on YouTube? Find things that like excite you and feel unique to you and lean into that. Then when you're around other people who act differently or like different things, don't change how you act or what you like to suit them. Like what you like with confidence. To me, that's the best way to like get a stronger sense of self, because I don't know what other people mean when they say it. Number six. You don't have to accept things. And I don't just mean small things, I mean like big things. You can question anything or everything, and I encourage you to. You'll find the most rules that people follow are just made up anyway, so you can make up your own. For example, a common one. You need to go to school, and then university, and then get a job, and have a family. <laughs> you don't though. You need to look this way, or be like this to be attractive. No. I reject that. Oh, you should respect people older than you. They're smarter than you. Mm. I know a lot of old people that aren't very smart. You will earn my respect no matter how old you are. It's your life, dude. If it doesn't feel right, question it. You call the shots. Number seven. If you... Okay. Okay. If you tell your parents that you, like, really want a pet mouse, remember to also tell them if you change your mind. Because they might just surprise you with one, like, a few weeks later. And you might find yourself having to clean this like stinky poopy cage of a rodent that you didn't even want anymore. Number eight, you just need to believe like so hard in yourself. Just need to believe in yourself. If there is one thing that you take away from this entire video, let it be this. Like sure, be modest, but don't be like totally modest, especially in your own head. I promise you, you are as powerful as you believe that you are. Even if something is like highly, highly, highly unlikely, I just go like, mm, but it's possible. And if it's possible, then it can happen. Also remember that you can always like suck or fail at doing something you don't really want to do, so you may as well just try and do the thing that you want to do. But step one is always being like, I can do it. Number nine, if you find yourself living in a humid place, be careful of mold. No one told me this, and I'm holding every single person in my life except for myself accountable for the fact that I have a closet full of mold. Smell dampness? Just don't ignore it. It might be mold, and it might ruin your life. Because it's ruined mine. Number ten, other people are people too. Sounds easy. People forget it. Every person has a deeply complex life and reasons for the way they are. All behaviour stems from somewhere. 
like the Grinch. Everyone thought that he was just mean and evil, but actually he was lonely and bullied his whole life and he was sad. We have to remember that everyone's got things going on. Also, sometimes people just have bad days, you know? And you gotta remember that for when you're having a bad day and you're hoping that the people around you don't think that you're just an asshole. And that absolutely doesn't mean that you have to tolerate people's bad behavior or give them third or fourth chances, but for the most part, if someone's being grumpy or something, it does help to remind yourself that they too are a person. Number 11. Failure is never bad. It's just learning things. And you gotta learn things. As long as you get something out of it, you're chillin'. At some point in time in the future, you'll be able to find like one, if not a couple, of really good things that came from it. Even if it's just that you learned not to do it again. That's some valuable knowledge. Also, thinking this way just completely eradicates regret. Because you can't regret something if you're just focusing on all the good things that came from it. Number 12. Hating someone only blows chunks for you. There's nothing worse than feeling like anger or hate. It sucks balls and it feels icky. If you have those feelings towards someone, they're fine. You're the one that feels like poop. You gotta either sort it out with them, maybe forgive them if they deserve it, or work out a way to let it go by yourself or with a therapist. You just don't need those feelings hanging around. Number 13. If you've never used a rice cooker before, maybe read the instructions. Or ask someone that's more knowledgeable than you so you don't blow the electricity in your house. I learned that on the hard way. Number 14. If you're nervous about something that you gotta do, just focus on the best possible outcome. My anxiety is to do this crazy thing that if I was nervous about something, I would just obsess over whatever the worst possible outcome was. That when I actually had to do the thing, I'd fall apart despite what I'd previously thought. You can actually just focus on the best possible outcome because it's equally as likely to happen. And if it doesn't, then at least you didn't spend all your energy and time freaking out about it. Number 15. Siblings are great if you know when to trust them. When I was a wee tot, I was playing in the swimming pool in the back garden with my sister. And she said, do you know how bees make honey? She said that they pooped in little buckets. Fast forward an hour or so, I feel an urge in my bowels. I quickly notify my sister. And with a concerning amount of excitement, she goes, Quick, Tessa, do it in the bucket. Next minute, my mom's storming out of the house, marching towards me, being like, Tessa, stop, what are you doing? And I was like, okay, mother. Relax, I'm just making some honey. This is how Molly said that I could make some honey. And in that moment, my sister looks me dead in the eye. And then she turns to her mum and says, No, I didn't. I got in so much trouble. I got in so much trouble. Number 16, you trust that intuition. Nobody knows your life path better than you. Usually you will have the answer to your own question. You just gotta like feel it out. 17. There is always going to be someone better off than you and worse off than you, that if you're having a tough time, it doesn't matter. Whether it's physical or emotional, don't ever feel guilty or be dismissive of pain because someone else has it worse. But depending on the circumstances, sometimes hearing other people's pain can kind of help you realise that what you thought was a bad thing isn't actually that bad. It's a case by case thing, but don't be dismissive of your feelings and always be open to getting a bit of perspective. On the topic of perspective, Number 18, stress is usually pretty dumb. Sometimes it's fine and normal and obviously a natural human reaction to things. If I'm ever stressing about something, I do this thing with myself called the deathbed test. And that's where I ask myself, when I'm lying on my deathbed, will I be happy that I worried about this? If the answer is no, then I usually chill the fuck out. I wanna be there dying on my deathbed, knowing that I didn't stress about anything that I didn't absolutely need to. Number 19, have mystery woman skills. And no, this is not just for women. So this is a concept that I've believed in deeply for a while, but ages ago I found this TikTok that really like gave it a name. I'll show it to you right now. You need to look at yourself and ask yourself, what mystery woman skills do I currently possess? Me, I can play banjo, I can sing opera. Now, mystery woman skills are skills that you use to scare other people from a distance or make them confused or um, kind of perplexed with your existence. So skills, yes, but also just random things that you've done. It's always good to have a couple things in your back pocket that when you tell people, they're just like, huh? For example, a couple of mine is that I can solve Rubik's Cubes. I used to do trampolining. When I was seven years old, I made a bet with my parents that I could go a year without eating lollies and chocolate. And then I did it. And I used the money I won to buy colored pencils for school kids in Mali. And that's not meant to be a brag, but I'm not gonna lie, even I'm impressed that my seven-year-old self wasn't a greedy little squirt. I myself find people impressive when they whip out random things that surprise me. 20. If you've been lying on the couch for an entire day and then see your mom, get up slowly. Don't jump up and hug her. Cause if you do jump up after lying down all day, you might get a very intense head rush. And then if you're lucky, you might also faint in your mother's arms. And then she might think that you're playing a joke on her, becoming floppy and making her hold you up. But no, you just fainted. 
21. Life is short, but it's also really long. So try and maximize happiness. Now this can take a little bit of calculation. For example, sometimes I think to myself, I'm very happy on this couch. But if I go for a run or a nice walk, then later I'm gonna be even happier. And since the goal is to maximize happiness, sorry kid, you gotta get up and go for that run or walk. Maximize it for yourself, but also the people around you. Because happiness doesn't have to be yours for you to feel it. Also remember, and I feel like this is like weirdly frowned upon, like put your happiness first. Genuinely. If we're all focused on our own happiness, then we're all accounted for. Because more often than not, if you're prioritizing something else over your happiness, you're going to become sadder anyway. And then the people around you are going to be sadder because you're sad. And then everyone kind of loses a little bit. So you just focus on you. And if you're feeling good, then it's always nice to help other people out too. And on the topic of happiness, we have our final one for the day. Number 22, being grateful for stuff will make you happier. Facts. A lot of people know it already, there are whole religions based around it, but if you haven't thought about it before, I strongly urge you to. You're always gonna want things, so the only way you're gonna find satisfaction is by being grateful for everything that you have. Like this is so dumb, but if I'm having a bad day or sometimes I just wake up grumpy, I get out my phone, I open notes, and I just start listing anything. Anything that it, like sparks joy or I'm grateful for. Just stop pointing. For the sake of this video, I checked the last one I wrote and I wrote the chicken I had for lunch yesterday because it was really good. I listened to some songs that at the time really made me feel like heard. I went on a walk and saw a tree that looked a lot like broccoli, like more so than usual. And also that week, I found a bra that was really comfortable. For anyone watching this that isn't a girl, that's not easy. Doing this completely changes my mood. Even if you're not feeling grumpy, every once in a while, just do it for fun. Because then you can look back and think about the things that made you really happy like three weeks ago like I totally would have forgot about that chicken you can't control what's going on in the world around you but you can control how you react to them even if your cynical brain is like no this is shit everything's shit this sucks you can make a choice and be like no shh I've got all these good things to think about and if you think that way then there's not a lot that the outside world can do to you because you're just like well you can throw anything at me but I'm gonna be okay and I've got good things going on and things to be grateful for so okay that's me done 22 big freaking topics later. If you have any like life things that you think are good to know, let me know in the comments because I can read them. I would very much like to read them and other people can read them too. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I have like a lot more so I can do another one of these in the future if you like it. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. I love you all. Subscribe if you want and I will see you next week. Bye.